the way my throat got dry, the way I got lightheaded, the way I actually just wanted to collapse on the floor. I just wanted to. Okay, so I am back from the New York show and it was amazing. Um, <laughs> so much happened that it was just a lot to like take in at one time. I still haven't processed the things that happened last week, so I'm still trying to catch up from what happened, but I just want to say that Jackson Wang is like the best artist ever he's just so nice and I don't understand why he's so nice to me but I accept <laughs> I accept thank you so much for being you three times uh, if you follow me on Twitter, you saw that I posted a screenshot of a video and, you know, it was probably one of the best days of my life, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to like tell the whole day from beginning to end. So this is probably going to be a kind of long video because I just want to share the story and the evolution of the day. All right, so me and my friends get to the venue at not, like around 9.30 and it's kind of cool, right? It's not too hot, not too cold. So we're just like chilling. I go get my caffeine because I need my caffeine every day. And then we sit there for a while and I just keep meeting like new people and like meeting people from online that I finally got to meet in person and it was like really really great and it's just like oh my god I'm like seeing you in person after talking to you online for like years like like seeing them in person I was just like oh my god like what it was it was really cool and everyone was so nice and everyone is so pretty like oh my god yes i thought we're like yeah. <laughs> oh my god i can't believe it we read the last show i know oh my god <laughs> so we're waiting we're waiting we're waiting in line and then i want to say about like it's like one o'clock. We are waiting in the sun. And it's like super, super hot. Um, I was not expecting it to be that hot since I am from Texas. We are used to the heat, but it was the fact that the sun was like directly on our side of the building. I was not confident in how I was looking and going into this meet and greet because it was just so hot and I was getting so sweaty and I was just like, oh dear God. And then I forgot to like put on my little star stickers and I was just like, great, I feel like I look, I, I feel like I actually look terrible right now. But my friend in life was really trying to console me and be like, you look fine, you look great, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, I feel like I look terrible. And then my skin, uh, you know, look, there was just so much going on. And I just wanted to say what I wanted to say to him and I was nervous about saying what I needed to say to him Which I didn't even get to say I'm more on that later for like the last hour before check-in for meet and greet I had to go to the other side and stand in the shade. So I was standing in the shade by myself Met a new friend. She's great. Yeah, like I even got a tan From standing outside our summer color is coming back She's coming back and we are excited about it. <laughs> Meet and greets coming. I am nervous. I feel like I look terrible. Yeah, I kind of was in shambles. I was in shambles and I was so sad that <laughs> I had to take a picture with this beautiful man. Um, 
while I was just recovering from being out in the heat. Uh, somehow, some way, I, I made it. <sighs> so I walk up and I'm like, oh, hey, Jackson. And he just goes like this. And I was like, oh my God, okay. Uh, and then we pose and I feel like they took the picture too soon because like my hand is like kind of blurry in the picture. I was like, dang it, I wasn't even like properly ready. But I was gonna ask for another one. And then he like looks at me and he's like, do you have your phone? I was like, no, they made us like put it in our bags on tables. Like I, I, I don't have it with me. He was like, oh, I wanted to make a video to like tell people to subscribe to your channel. I was like, oh, look, the, uh, the way my throat got dry, the way I got lightheaded, the way I actually just wanted to collapse on the floor. I just wanted to, I just wanted to collapse. I wanted to faint. I, I didn't understand what he had just told me. I was like, wait, this man, that just told me he wanted to make a video on my phone. The fact that I could even like keep talking after he said that, well, once again, you know, God just took over because on the inside I was just passed out on the floor. I'm like, okay, if I go get my phone and come back, can we make the video? And he was like, yeah, sure. So I go out. I go get my phone, my friend was like, oh, how'd it go? I was like, it was great, I'll be right back. And then I, <laughs> I just take my phone, then I'm like scurrying, like, cause I can't run, cause I'm wearing those platform boots. And if I run, I will literally fall flat on my face. So I'm just like <laughs> coming back. And then I'm going, I go to the curtain and the girl was like, oh no, I'm sorry, you can't come back. You need to go that way. And I was like, yeah, um, Jackson said he would make a video with me and I'm coming back with my phone to like record it. And she was like, um, okay, I'll, I'll go see. And so she goes to see and then as she's like going in, the guy is like coming out and then he, Jackson sees me and he's just like, oh yeah, come here. And I was like, oh my God, I was really dying. Like I just didn't understand what was going on. Why is he so nice? <sighs> Oh my god. Why is he the nicest human being on the planet? It makes no sense. Like, why did he do that? I just, I don't know. I, I really don't know, but it was very, very nice. So he said what he said, and I'll show you guys. Lex, love, you're going to subscribe because I did. Ah, thank you, Jackson. <laughs> Lex, love, you're going to subscribe because I did. Ah! <laughs> that that actually happened during my meet and greet and I just was not expecting that at all I didn't even ask for that to happen because I had a whole plan of what I actually wanted to say to him really quick you have to be quick with these messages because ugh, the meet and greet is just so fast and I just really hope one day I actually have like an allotted time to just like talk to him. I just wanna talk, you know, just hang out, vibe out, just like chill. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully one day, hopefully one day. Yeah, I had everything planned and then that happened and it just went out the window because that was everything and more. Like you, my favorite artist, you are asking me if I have my phone, could you pick a video or for my channel? This is what I actually wanted to say to him. I wanted to say, I know I'm just a fan and I don't have a big following, but I truly do hope one day we can like work together on something. Like even if it's just a little reaction video, like I think it would be so cool to make a reaction video with you. <laughs> and then I can ask you like more detailed questions like in person. I think that would be really fun. I think we would really vibe out and I think it'd be a good time.
I told myself I was not gonna cry, but I feel the tears coming. I feel it. Since I came back from Korea in 2018, I have been dealing with depression very, very badly. And then things in life just kept happening. And I was just like, wow, like, it's just one thing after another. For him to do that, it, oh God. <laughs> I don't know like I things have just been so bad for so long <sighs> I'm just very very grateful and I can't even explain how much that meant to me I can't even explain like who am I I'm just a fan like the fact that you even did that for me like I can't, I can't even. has brought my happiness back. I haven't been happy for a really long time. And then losing my grandmother, that was just, that was the brink of it all. Like, I lost her recently. She passed away in October. So, I have been dealing with that, and then just feeling lost, and just feeling like what I'm doing is not, is not right, I'm not on the right path, but, all of this was a confirmation that what I'm doing is actually what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh my God, all these tears. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't even put into words how much that meant to me. Like, he's just such an amazing person and he's the only artist I've ever liked like for a really long time. Like I've been a fan since 2015, so. It's been a long time and just to see him like grow into the person he is today has just been like really cool to see. I know I say that all the time but like I just feel like I need to say it again and you're just such a special person to so many people and I really want you to know that like you mean a lot to so many people. Eyes are all red. Like, you're the best. Like, who can say their favorite artist did that for them? I don't know anyone. I, I, I don't know. So you're very, very special to me and, of course, all of your millions of fans. So thank you for being you and thank you for being such a nice person. I was speechless. I was at a loss for words. And I... <sighs> I didn't want to like have a breakdown right after because I was like focused on like finding a spot. <laughs> and not being behind tall people and just wanting to enjoy the show. But now that I'm back home and I'm talking about it, um, all of the emotions are coming out and I'm just like crying and crying. <laughs> I have been fighting tears since I sat down in the airport waiting for my plane to come back. Like, I just really can't believe that happened. And like I said before, that meant so, so much to me. I cannot even explain. I can't even explain. And the fact that you make it known, may, let me know that you're subscribed to my channel. Like, I don't know what to even say to that i don't know how to go on thank you i do not think i am that special like i said i am just a fan um so yeah like thank you thank you so much the next part might get a little wild <laughs>
guys want to warm up a little bit more or just get ready for this? Let's go! Let's go! Let's get ready to make some fucking noise right now. Well, so now we're gonna get to the show. My God, my eyes are all red now. This is great. Ugh. So the New York show, it was the biggest venue and it's sold out. It's sold out, sold out like that. It's like, is this mark your heart? Yay, I love This audience was more like playful and more people were like dancing and that was really fun. I didn't feel like as out of place compared to like LA. One part that I thought was like really, really cute during the show was the fact that, oh my God, were we singing dopamine or was it blue? It was either dopamine or blue, one of those. Like I said, everything is a blur. There was a part where he was like telling us to sing and he couldn't believe like how many people were like actually singing back to him. I guess it was really loud. And he was like shocked and I was like, oh my God. And I did not record it, but I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Like he just looked really, really surprised and shocked to see all those people singing his lyrics back to him. And I thought that was a really beautiful moment. It honestly made me emotional because I could feel his energy like, oh my god, like, are these people like really singing back to me like this? Like, all of these people. like New York was a really good like ending to the tour personally that was just me at least in my area it was hype I don't know about other places of the uh, venue but for my little area people were actually like dancing <laughs> Two requests for your next tour. Can you please, I beg of you, can you please come to Dallas? Please, please come to Dallas, Texas. It would be a great show, I promise you. I know you like the Dallas crowd. You came here um, with Gal 7 and, and you also went to Houston. Like, I know the crowds were hype. Like, you really need to come back to Dallas next tour, please. And also, 
seated venues i think we should make that a thing okay seated venues please do seated venues please come to dallas texas and do seated venues for every stop. We would love to sit down in a chair before the turn up. Before you come out, we would love a good chair, you know? It would help a lot. It, I mean, wow. Please, I beg, dear God. I just want to say this tour has been absolutely amazing and it has completely brought my happiness back I have not been happy in a long time so I am very 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 grateful to you for that know that we are proud of you and you will definitely accomplish everything that you want to like I can I feel it in my soul I feel it like you will you're a good person you're always like going out of your way to help others. You just really mind your business and do your job. And doing that and being a good person is literally what's going to lead you to everything that you want. And I still can't believe that you made a video. Like, I can't believe that you wanted to do that for me. Um, I just really can't believe it. I, I don't know, I keep watching and I'm just like, how is this real life? How is this my life? And yeah, you know, maybe, maybe I bought a ticket to the Mexico show. Maybe I bought like a seated ticket, you know, maybe, mm, maybe. <laughs> okay, I will see y'all later. Peace. Lex, love, you're gonna subscribe because I did. Ah, thank you, Jason. Yeah. <laughs>